Hi, welcome back to the matcenter.com. Uh, let me write this down. I always forget to write down our website for you guys to check up, check us out. We have plenty of courses here. So, but anyway, uh, I want to continue my uh, videos and my comments. Uh, in the last couple of videos, I've been doing some ad maths questions, taking a look at the recent October, November ad maths paper. Uh, that is code 0606. I think lately I've been doing this variant 0606, paper one. Okay. Uh, I think I've done question three previously. You can go and look for my older, the earlier videos. Okay. So in this particular video, I'd like to talk about a uh, question, another question from uh, this paper, this variant one one from the recent winter 2020 exam for MX. Okay. Now, I like to do trigonometry, do some proving. So now people, the question, my full working is down there, you can see below, but do listen to my comments. I, uh, my comments upon the question and how to move, I hope it helps you in your exam, all right? So 8A, there's this question for four marks. This is a four marks question. And it just asks you to prove, show that, show that, okay, one over, one plus cosecant theta, okay? Bracket multiplied by sine theta minus sine squared theta. Whole thing equals secant squared theta. Okay, now a few things. Number one, uh, okay, a few things to note, okay? Now, when you do proving questions, you cannot work on the left and work on the right. You must take a stand. Either go from left-hand side, work to the right-hand side, or go from right-hand side and work to the left. So decide, okay? You cannot work on the left, work on the right, and then get some answer in the middle. That's not the way to do it. You take the stand. And I will tell you this, always, always try to work using the one, the, the, the phrase, the, the site which has, which is looks more involved, all right? Do not try to expand uh, from a simple phrase. That's why I tell my students. So in this case, the left-hand side looks more complicated, more involved. So I'm going to move from left-hand side to get secant squared theta. Now ahead of it, uh, I also know that secant squared theta is also the same as one over cos squared theta. So if I can move from left-hand side until I get one over cos, uh, cos squared theta, then I can, I would have proven that it is the same as secant squared theta, okay? So now, so I'm gonna move from left-hand side. So the left-hand side, I'm gonna expand the bottom Okay, the denominator here looks like one plus cosecant theta. I'm going to replace cosecant theta with one over sine theta. Okay, people, please, you have to know a few things. For example, cosecant theta is one over sine theta, okay? Now, sine theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, so now I can see that I'm talking the same language. This is in sine theta, and so is this in sine theta minus sine squared theta. So I choose to keep this, okay? So now what am I going to do? I'm going to expand. So I'm going to, this one, I'm going to simplify it with one over sine theta plus one over sine theta. This expression multiplied by sine theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, so this expression multiplied by this will knock this off. So I'm left with one over sine theta plus one, the bottom and the bottom, the, the, the denominator here cuts with the sine theta, so I'm left with sine theta plus one. Isn't it? All right, or one plus sine theta. Okay, and then this sine theta plus one minus this, I will be left with sine theta uh, plus one minus sine, uh, multiplied by negative sine theta which means, uh, mm, let me think of the best way to show you. Okay, uh, I think this, I need to do this, wait, let me erase this. I'm a, I'm a little bit out of space. I'm wondering how to push this up. Wait, uh, Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit of space. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to erase it because I need some space here. Okay, you've taken note of this. Okay. okay, let me see. 
So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to wait, hang on. Okay, I'm going to do this, just a minute. So, oh, sorry, okay, here. So I have one over sine theta plus one over sine theta. I actually simplified this part to become this. Sine theta minus sine squared theta, I take out sine theta. As a common factor, I'm left with one minus sine theta. And this and this will knock off. Okay, so now I'm left with one over sine theta plus one, which is one plus sine theta, right? A plus B is B plus A, one minus sine theta. And so when I expand the bottom here, one plus sine theta times one minus sine theta, I have one minus sine squared theta. You know how to expand, right? It's a plus b, a minus b. So it becomes a squared minus b squared, okay? So I have one over cos squared theta. Remember, one minus sine squared theta, remember sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. Therefore, cos squared theta is the same as one minus sine squared theta, right? So I replace one minus sine squared theta with cos squared theta, and there you go. And so I work backwards now. Remember, I hate in my earlier comments, I already know that one over cos squared theta is second squared theta. Okay, and there you go. So remember, uh, you can play my, watch this video again. Uh, remember the tips that I told you, start from the part that looks more complicated and move to the easier one. Okay, and know your trigonometric basic formulas you have to know. Okay. I, like in the earlier ones I've shown you, plus sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. So for this simple question of proving, they gave you four marks. All right. So you can watch this again. Uh, do uh, share and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Okay. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.